Yeah, you'll have to probably go tomorrow. So that can go in there. I just have a, a, a donation bag too. You think it's too soon? I don't think so. After you mail stuff? Yeah, that's right. Hello everyone, I hope you all enjoyed my very calm, very zen 
2024 productive morning routine. Um, everything that you saw is linked down below. But if you're new here, hello, I am Monroe Steele of Fashion Steele NYC. And welcome back to my channel and another vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, so it's been about like two years, I think, since I've done a morning routine. And I thought, why not start off the top of the year in January with a morning routine? This is a very um, realistic morning routine for me. You know, I wake up. I do my workout, probably get a bike ride in, do a little bit of work, whether that's emails, writing in my journal, having a meeting with my assistant, finishing up a blog post. Um, I make myself some lunch, uh, shower, get myself together for the day. And my day really kind of start, starts at noon, which is, it's around that time now. So I do a lot before noon. Um, and also I get a lot of questions about what I eat and how I work out and how do I stay fit. Um, I work out with my girl Life with Glory B on Instagram and here on YouTube three to four times a week. On the weekdays, our classes are 30 minutes. On the weekends, our classes are one hour long. Um, and then I also do a specific ab workout that I found here on YouTube. I'll link that video down below. I mean, I also bike about 50 miles a week, usually three times a week. Uh, so yeah, that's what I do to stay physically active. And I'm not much of a calorie counter, but lately I have been not necessarily counting calories, but just making sure I'm not over <laughs> indulging in all the things. Um, and I've noticed a huge difference in my skin and also in my physique with doing these things. As you all know, or maybe you're new here, your girl is turning the big 40 this year, the big 4-0. Um, I still feel like I'm about 27. Uh, and you will never feel as old as you are. That's just a little nugget from someone who's, and I know I, I meant nugget, but I like nugget better, of advice um, from someone who is almost 40 in a, a few months. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. I've linked everything down below. I just got finished doing my everyday makeup look. I'm gonna pop on some clothes because I have um, some stories to film for The Real Real. I'm working with them this month just to kind of like highlight some of the products that I love from their site that sellers are currently selling and that you can buy. Um, the focus of the campaign is really just to drive uh, traffic to their website which is very easy because I shop there quite often in fact I worked with them at towards the end of last year and I sold about four things on the real real it's very easy to sell things um, if you, there's one in your area they will even come to your home take photos of everything for you inventory it for you package it up and take it <laughs> like it's amazing in fact I need to do a new one that's what, I'll, that's what I'll do because it's about time for me to take inventory and uh, donate some things, sell some things on my Poshmark closet, and also probably sell some of my more luxury items on the real room. But that should be fun. I get to go on the website, look and see what I like, pick out all the delicious goodness. They also have a lot of good vintage on there as well and then make some stories to highlight those items. So if you wanna know the pieces that I'm loving from The Real Real, um, by the way, if you're new to The Real Real, it's a luxury consignment online shop. Um, lots of discounted luxury items on there. Uh, so if you're on your no by January, wait until February, but we almost there anyway. So yeah, I've linked a few of my favorite things from The Real Real down below that you can check out probably some of them i'm maybe gonna buy next month uh so yeah let's get dressed i'm gonna do those stories maybe i'll pop those in and show those to you um but also i'm heading on a vacation your girl is going someplace lovely and tropical to just rejuvenate my spirit you know i i spent a week in new york i hope you all enjoyed those vlogs and now I'm gonna spend a week in a nice tropical place that I haven't been to in a while. I rented out a beautiful house 
And so um, we're gonna pack together. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be packing. And you will later see those photos on the gram and also in an upcoming travel vlog. So without further ado, let's crack on into the evening portion or the afternoon, afternoon portion of the day. All right guys, so I got myself together. I'm wearing this Zara sweater and my favorite little cinched waist jeans from Ray. I got these from Matches Fashion. Um, they come in a ton of different colors and they're just so fun um, and like just cool girl. Um, and I set up my tripod, as you can see here. I have my little tripod, my little phone extender, and I'm setting it up so that I can go ahead and film my stories for, for the real real. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then I'll pop that content in so you guys can see it and I will also link some of the products down below. All right guys, all finished with my work for the real real. It's actually quite easy because I could talk about them forever <laughs> since I shop there all the time. Um, and also, if you are new to their site, you can sign up to receive a $25 credit, site credit to shop. It's amazing. Um, okay, so now that that's done, I need to figure out what things I'm gonna bring on this trip. Going to a warm weather location. Your girl is thrilled. I don't wanna to bring too much because I'm really gonna to want to relax for the most part. Um, but I will probably take my Reeve Gauche Black Tote because this is the smaller one that I have. I got this one from uh, My Teresa. I also have a bigger one. And perhaps I'll take both of these. Like I'll take one for like when I'm going to the beach or going to uh, the pool or out for a stroll. And then this one I'll just specifically take for traveling to like put my laptop in and such. You can see the difference in size. But this is my go-to and she is dirty. Like <laughs> look how dirty it is. I even spilled coffee on this and this was maybe like two months ago and I just never cleaned it off. Um, but I know that if you take a little bit of hydro hydrogen peroxide and mix it with a little bit of like Dawn and water, uh, and rub it on there, it'll clean, it'll come right off. And that was a trick that my girl Sanji taught me. She is a designer and we have a collaborative clothing line together twice a year. And she's the one who gave me that tip and it works. So I'll probably end up taking both of these, let's be honest. Um, I'm thinking I will probably take my Celine bag as well because this is perfect for a beach bag you can throw a towel in here um i got this last year and i just never wore it <laughs> like i think it's so chic that black and white print it's just gorgeous so on one side it says celine paris the other side it says made in italy i even think did i get this from the real real i might have gotten this also from the real real that's crazy <laughs> Um, but such a beautiful bag and on the inside it does have like a, a pocket that's connected to it so you can put your keys in there, all of the things so that they don't just get lost inside this huge bag. So I think that's going to be it for bags. I don't think I'm going to take like any of my luxury designer handbags with me. I think just having a, like my Reeve Ghost Tote will probably be enough. Um, even when I go out to dinner, I might take one night dinner bag, but something like super easy and large and not like my best bag. I'm not taking anything too luxury, um, because I just don't want to travel with like super expensive items. I even think I'm probably going to leave all of my jewelry at home as well. Oh, I just realized by the time this video goes live, I'll be back. So I can tell you guys where I'm going. I'm going to Tulum. Um, I've been to Tulum quite a few times. It used to be like my number one favorite place to go. Um, I feel like the last time I went, I went for a birthday and I went with my girl Janae. Uh, who else was there? Rose, Danielle, and Kayla. And we had fun, we had a good time. Uh, 
and it's been a while it was for which birthday was it was it 30 was it 36 or 35 one of those uh we went to tulum it was super fun um no 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 maybe maybe i was 34 i can't remember <laughs> that was a shame i cannot remember am i one of the am i alone and not being able to categorize years in my mind as memories i cannot do it i can't break it up into years of when like the year when something happened my brain just doesn't like work like that for some reason anywho that's why i'm not taking like a lot of like luxury super luxe things um i don't want them lost and i don't want them stolen so i'm just not bringing them i'm also not gonna wear any of my jewelry except for maybe my love bracelet um so yeah let's pick out some swimwear i have so much swimwear i just went through my swimwear recently um but i did buy this andrea iyama swimsuit i was planning on wearing it for new year's day if i was to do like a yacht day andrea iyama is a black owned business she does amazing resort wear and I didn't get to wear this, so I'm definitely taking this swimsuit. I'm also taking the matching skirt. Let me show you that. So this is actually like a whole outfit. I don't know if this is doing too much, but this might be a vibe for like a night out. So I like during the day, I can wear the bathing suit with the skirt or like the sarong and then for night, I can just keep on the sarong and change it to this shirt for like a nighttime look. We're gonna pack that, yeah. That'll be a cute, super cute look. Um, what else are we taking? Let's see. I definitely wanna take this dress. This is a dress from the, the Desert Oasis collection that Sanji and I did in the summer of 2023. It's a halter dress. It's this beautiful fabric that's kind, that's very stretchy actually. And you can wear this three different ways. You can wear it as a halter with a little cow neck. You can wear it um, off the shoulder or you can wear it off both shoulders. And it's so lightweight. And I think this would just be great for Tulum. Like I can wear a bathing suit underneath. I can wear this out to dinner one night. This would be fabulous and it's very easy. It doesn't wrinkle. Um, we might still have some of these and they go up to a size three XL. I wear a medium in this dress, but it has a little bit of stretch. So we're gonna take that as well. I also love this hat that I received from the team over at Nikki Beach. I think it's so cute. It's like giving Western vibes. Like I'm, I feel like I'm on my like Lisa Bonet in this hat. It's a vibe. I gotta take a picture with this hat, y'all. Like, period. Let me see if I can still do it. Don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. Oh snap! Your girl can line dance. Period. Yeah, we're taking this hat. She's a vibe. She deserves a moment uh what else oh this dress you've already seen me wear this dress uh, quite a bit but i love it because it's so easy you just throw on the dress and then you go and it's this uh striped dress from the brand pose i'm wearing it in a small and it fits great it has a good amount of stretch i'm normally a medium but the medium was too big so definitely size down in this dress it's just very chic very almost you know just quiet yet loud elegance and chicness so we're gonna take that as well mostly I think I'm just taking dresses because it's gonna be quite like hot and humid I'm trying to think so I have that one bathing suit I need maybe a few more let's see should we go with my gold LeMay Norma Kamali Baywatch swimsuit I have yet to wear this and like she deserves a moment but is she doing too much or am I not doing enough I also have a gold LeMay two-piece set that I also have yet to wear 
This is from Jade Swim, which is a black owned business. I think I like the two piece better. We're gonna take the two piece in gold. And I think we need like one more swimsuit, maybe in black or in white. Let's see, this one's really cute. I haven't worn this one in a while. This is from Solid and Striped, one of my favorite uh, swimwear brands. But this is like very retro and I love like the padding or the like the bust area. This is very cute. I think the last time I wore this was like right after coming out of lockdown. Uh, we went to the beach in like New York, like North New York, and I wore this. So we're gonna take that as well. I feel like we need one more. Like we just having a moment. And I think I'm gonna also bring a bunch of scarves to wear as tops, like this Dior scarf, super cute. And maybe this Pucci scarf. That would be super cute as a top with like a little flowy black pant. Yeah, we're gonna bring, in fact, I think I like this. Yeah, we're gonna bring both of these. I also have this swimsuit from Andrea Iyama. And what I love about this is how thick the straps are. And I love this color too. So we will probably pack this one as well. Okay, as far as more like clothes, I'm definitely gonna pack this little cover up from um, Carolina K. I showed this to you guys in a previous video. This would just be so cute as a cover up and like, I love it. It's just so fun. Um, next up, I have not been able to wear this anywhere. So this is the perfect place to wear it. This is that two piece set from Fina Well Little Caribbean. If you are new here, Fina Well is an incredible designer. She has a store uh, in Brooklyn. It's an offshoot of her brand and they sell kind of like specialty items. Um, and they had this gorgeous two piece knit set in red and white with a matching little bralette. And it's epic. It looks so incredible on. And I have just been wanting to wear this forever. So I'm gonna pack this as well for dinners and breakfasts and just like walking around and uh, looking at the sights and such. I'm gonna pack this dress from um, from Age. I showed this to you all in one of my like holiday vlog videos, I believe. Yeah. Um, it's just a beautiful dress. This was on sale and it just looks amazing on. It's very easy going, just kind of like throw it on and go. So this would be great for, you know, walking around, getting brunch, things like that. And this dress, which you all have seen in my New Year's Eve dress haul, is from Aya Muse. It is like a green knit dress with chain mail on the top, as well as chain mail on the bottom. And this will be great for dinner, like a dinner, a night out. Uh, this is what I would wear for that. And then of course I have my uh, Trito Ruiz Ibiza cover up. I mean, this is just so chic and it's one of my favorite cover ups. And I'm thinking I may also bring my Christopher Esber white uh, dress that has like an open like tummy. You would have seen all of these if you've watched the previous vlogs. But I think I might need one more like dinner dress because I think there's three dinners. So I can wear this one day for dinner. I need like two more very kind of fancy like chicer. Oh, I can wear my dress from my collection for, uh, for one dinner. Okay, so I need one more dress for dinner. Okay, for the final dress, we're gonna go with this like leopard print dress from Rat and Boa. I always love Rat and Boa dresses, especially on a warm weather vacation. They're just so elegant and like chic and beautiful. Um, and even though they're super sheer, they don't show anything. Like all of the designs are, strate are strategically placed to cover your mouth. 
So I think we'll take this one. And I think that's it. I think that is it. For shoes, uh, let's see. I think for shoes, we're gonna take my Tibby Mules because they're very comfortable, they're wedges, and they also give like vacay vibes. And they go with quite a few of the pieces that I'm bringing. I'm also gonna bring my Chanel Raffia dad sandals. Um, I love these things and they're so comfortable. So I think I'm just gonna bring one heel and one flat and one flat that is dressy. I have the perfect one. So since I have quite a few like neutral looks and a few black things as well, I'm going to bring these sandals. These are from Maria Teresa Lopez who is a YouTuber here on YouTube and she is an amazing businesswoman. She lives here in Miami and we met here. Um, she's always gallivanting. I actually literally bumped into her in Milan of all places. I didn't even know she was there. If you watch the Milan vlogs, we bumped into each other. But she created these super cute sandals that are kind of sparkly. As you can see, I, I've worn these out. They are so comfortable and just so chic. So I think I'll bring the black as well as the nude. Um, and I don't think I'm even gonna bring like a pointy heel because what's the point? <laughs> I don't think I need one. All right guys, last but not least, just to create some content, I might bring my other dress that I got from Aj or Age. It's the little Raffia fringe dress. I think this would just, looks so good like in the location that i'm going like it looks so bomb so yeah i think i'm maybe gonna take this too um and i think that's it all right you guys any other things i showed you that's still available i'll try and link down below for you all but i think that's gonna be it for this video i really just wanted to show you my like morning routine on the days that i actually work which is today today is actually my admin day it's a monday um but yeah i hope it gave you some insight showed you some new products um gave you some ideas of how to incorporate some of these things into your day should you want to um if you enjoyed the video please do give a girl a thumbs up it helps me out a lot a lot of you are watching and you're not subscribed only about 50% of you that watch the videos are actually uh, or are actually subscribed. And I can see who is subscribed based on your comments. There's a little button next to your comments that I, I think I'm the only person that can see it that lets me know if you're subscribed. And you won't believe the number of people who comment on every single video and aren't subscribed. Like, oh, help your girl out and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I appreciate it so much and don't forget to also click the link down in my description bar and in my pinned comment to sign up for my newsletter because that's the only way I can do giveaways without you getting scammed on YouTube. You need to be like a part of my own personal network so I can contact you directly so that uh, people don't see your information and try and scam you. So if you want to be entered to win my monthly giveaways sign up for my newsletter it drops every tuesday just put in your email address and that's all you have to do all right you guys thank you so much for watching i hope this wasn't boring but the next video will be a travel vlog and all the fashions will be in it so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of your time with me i appreciate each and every one of you uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye